This video will show you our general climbing warm-up. It is broken down into four pieces, uh, the inchworm, the lunge with a twist, the squat, and the burpee progression. I will show you each movement individually. The first movement we'll be conducting is the inchworm. It is really good for upper body stability and lengthening your hamstrings. The second movement is the lunge with a twist. It is a really good lower body hip opener that prepares your body for the twisting movements that you'll be doing in climbing. The third movement is the air squat. You can do this movement with a little bit of weight added or without any weight. I will show you both variations. Without weight, you will go with a stance that is a little bit wider than how you would normally squat. For me, that is slightly outside of shoulder width. You will squat down, put your elbows in your knees, and shift back and forth for five seconds before you stand up. Back down, shift, stand back up. With weight, it can make it a little bit easier because it acts as a counterbalance if you have limited mobility. So with weight, holding it out front can help you get into a better position. If you don't have weights at home, then you can do this using a water bottle or with your hands against a wall to hold you in position. The final movement in our warm-up is the burpee progression. It is a three-part progression. The first part is a step-down, step-up burpee. Second part is a step-down, jump-up burpee. And the third part is a standard burpee. Each time you do the step-down, step-up burpee, you want to alternate your legs. This is the step-down, step-up burpee. The next part of the burpee progression is the step down, jump up burpee. When you jump up, you want to make sure you hold a pause in that squat position that you land in for one to three seconds. The third part of the burpee progression is a full burpee. This concludes our general warm-up.